We continue now at the top of Daf Nun Amar Aleph in Maseches Nedarim. This is Nedarim Daf 50a. And the previous Amar, the Gemara said that Rav Shimon ben Gamliel, he decreed a fast, and Rav Yehuda did not come to the fast. And the people said the reason why Rav Yehuda did not come is because he did not have an appropriate garment. And so Rav Shimon ben Gamliel sent him a cloak, and he refused to accept it. And now he showed the messenger, Dolit Sipsa, he raised up this mat. The Amar Leil Shluch, and he said to the messenger, Chazi Mai Ika, go look and see what is over here. Me who nevertheless, Lo Nicholi, Tisani, Bechadin Alma. I don't want to benefit from this world, that's why I don't want the cloak. And the Mefarish over here says, Dolit Sipsa, Higbiya Hamachzelas, Shaya Yoshev Allah, he lifted up the mat that he was sitting on. The Yomar Leila Shluch, and he said to the Shliach, the Azal Abese, the Shliach, they came to his house to bring the garment. He said, Chazi my Iko Re'e Kama Osher Yeshli, look at how much wealth I have. Shanasa Lo Nase, the way the Mefarish understands, there was a Nase, there was a miracle. Benismali Koloso Makam Zahuvim, and in that entire area, it filled up with golden dinars. And therefore he said, look, I could have the money, but I don't want to benefit from this world. That's why I don't want to accept it. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Akiva iskadashis lei barate de Kalba Savur. Rabbi Akiva betrothed the daughter of Kalba Savur. Shama Kalba Savur, Kalba Savur heard about this. Adra Hana Mikol Nechse. He made a nether on her from all of his property that she could not get benefit from his property. So Azla in Sivale, so he went and he married her. Rabbi Akiva married this daughter of Kalba Savur. Besisva have a gunu In the winter, they would sleep on the straw. Have a kamankit le tivna min mazia. He was taking the straw out of her hair. Amar Lon, he said to her, Ihavoyli, if I had money, Ramina Loch, Yerushalayim de Dahava, I would give you a golden Yerushalayim that was a kind of ornament that was worn on the head. Asa Elio, Idmi Lahon Kanasha. So Elio Anavi came and he appeared to them like a regular person. The Kakari above and he was at the door. He knocked on the door. Amar Luhu, he said to them, Havuli Purta de Tivna, give me a little bit of straw. The Aladis Itasi, because my wife gave birth. The less Limi Doam Laguna, I don't have anything. We can't lay down on anything, on, on anything. we have nothing to rest on. So Amar Lar Rabbi Akiva le intersay, so Rabbi Akiva said to his wife, Chazi Gavra, look at this person. The Afilu Tivna lo isla, he doesn't have, even have straw, we're lucky that we have straw. Amr Le, so she said to him, Zil have a Rav, go and learn by the yeshiva. Azal Tarte Sari Shnin, so he went and he learned for 12 years. Kamei de Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yoshua, in front of Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Yoshua. Le Mishlim Tarte Sari Shnin, at the conclusion of the 12 years, Ka'asa le Beise, he was coming to his house. Shama men achore Beise, he heard from the back of his house, he overheard the following, the Ka'amar Allah had Rasha le Devisu, that a particular Rasha, a particular wicked person, was saying to his wife, Sha'abir Avid Lachavach, what your father did with you was appropriate, that he prohibited you from getting benefit from him. Why was it appropriate? Chada number one, the Lodami Lach, that he's not comparable to you, meaning Rabbi Akiva is not on your level, you should not have married this Rabbi Akiva. Viod, and furthermore, Sha'avkach Armulus, Chayus Kul Honshinin, he left you as a living widow for all of these years. He's abandoned you while he's married to you. Amr so she said to him, Itzoyz Ladili, if he would listen to me, Lahavi Tarte Sari Shnin Achronisa, he would go for another 12 years and learn. Amar Sarabi Akiva said, However, you have to leave Rashusa since she's now given me permission. Ihadr la Achor, I'm going to turn around. Hadr Azal have a Tarte Sari Shni Achronisa. So then he went back and he went and learned for another 12 years. When he came back, he was accompanied by 24,000 pairs of students. The whole world came out to greet him. And she also, his wife, came out to stand in front of him to greet him. So that wicked individual said to her, Where are you going? In other words, you're not dressed appropriately. You don't even have the proper garments to wear to go out to greet him. Amr Leh, so she said to him, Yodeya Tzadik Nefesh Behemto, the righteous one knows the soul of his animal, meaning to say, he understands, Rabbi Akiva understands, that it was because of my sacrifice. Asas Lizchazuye Leh, so she went to appear before him. Kamadchon Leh Rabbonin, so the Rabbonin were pushing her. Amar Lahon, and so Rabbi Akiva said to them, Hanichula, leave her alone, Shaliva Shalachem, what I have, what you have, Shalahu, it's all really hers. And the idea over here is that the sages were not aware of who she was, that she was his wife. That's why they were trying to fend her off. And that's why he told them again, Shaliva Shalachem, Shalahu. And the Gemara continues, Shama Kalva Savu, so Kalva Savu heard about this. Asa Ve'ishal Al Nidre, so he went and he asked regarding, regarding his nether. He wanted to undo his nether this time. Ve'ishtariya, that it should be undone. Ve'ishtariya, and it was in fact permitted. 
And the Gemara continues, Min shis mile iaser Rabbi Akiva, from six sources, Rabbi Akiva became wealthy. Min kalba savua, first from kalba savua, kalba savua undid his nether and left his wealth to his daughter and Rabbi Akiva. Min eila disfinta, and from the ram of the ship, what that refers to is the chal svinta avdin le min eina, every single, every single ship, they made this kind of a sculpture like a ram. Zim nechada an sheyu al keifiyama, one time the people of the ship, they forgot it by the sea. Asahu ashkeche, and he came along and he found it, and there was money in there, and he had wealth from there. And the Mefarish over here explains, Min shis mile iaser b'yikiva min kalba savua. First he got wealth from kalba savua, to Paulag le'benichse, who divided up his property with him. Um min eila disfinta, and again from the ram of the ship, to chal svinta avdin le min eina, osin lohen min oso inyan shal ayel, it was like an inyan of a ram. Ve ista garsi min eina hayu osin kemin son shal eitz, it was like a wooden sculpture of tzon, ve hayu nosin bo kaspam, they would put money in there. And Shayu al Kefiyama, so they forgot this thing by the shore of the sea. Shashachu la oso ayel al Svasayom, umitso Rabbi Akiva. Again, they, they forgot it by the shore of the sea, and Rabbi Akiva found it. And the Gemara continues, umin Gavza, and from a log of wood he became wealthy. The Zimna Chada, because one time Yohev Arbo, Zuzay Lisfunoi, he gave four Zuz to the sailors. Amar Luhi said to them, Aisili Midom, give me something for this. The only thing they found was this log of wood by the seashore. Asiwale, they brought it to him. Amrule, they said to him, Ovid Marna Alea, and the Mefarish over here explains, Marna Alea, Yamtin Adonenu, may our master wait. So we're going to bring a little more, just wait with this log of wood. So then he found the Havimoli Dinari was actually full of Dinarim. The Zimna Chada, because one time Tavas Svinta, a ship sank. The Kulei Iska Havimachis Bogavs, and all of the money was placed inside this log of wood. The Ishtakach Bahuzim, then it was found in, at that time by these sailors, and that's what they brought Rabbi Akiva. And again, that was another, another source of his wealth. And the Gemara continues, the minute disrukisa, he also had a source of wealth from a convoy of Yishmaelim. Umin Matrunisa, and he also had a source of wealth from a particular woman. And the Ran over here explains, Umin Matrunisa, Pamachas Hutzruchu Rabbi Akiva Vitalmid of Mos. There was one time Rabbi Akiva and his students, they needed money. Valchu Eitzel Matrunisa, they went to a particular wealthy woman. Amra Lola Rabbi Akiva, she said to Rabbi Akiva, Hareni Malva Osach, I'm going to lend you money. Vitiya Atal Lava, so you're going to borrow Vakarish Baruchu, Vyom Arevim Bedover, and Akarish Baruchu in the sea, they're going to be like the guarantors. So Kava Lozman Lepiron, they made a time that he would pay back. Ucheshehigi Azmana, when the time came, Holcha Osa Matrunisa, Al Svasayom, so this woman, she went to the shore of the sea. Amran, she said, Ribona Shalola, master of the world. Galoi v'yadu alafanecha, it's revealed to you. Sher Rabbi Akiva chole v'lohaya b'yadu lefra chovo. Rabbi Akiva is ill and he doesn't have the ability to pay the debt. Rosh ata arev b'davran, you are a guarantor over here. Miad nishtat is b'ito shel kesar v'nitla argiz mole avanim tovos v'dinare zov. At that time, so the daughter of the Caesar, she took a a chest that was full of stones and gold v'zarka l'sochayam and she threw it into the sea. And the sea, it brought this chest of treasure to the exact place where this woman was, was there by the sea. Yosheves al Svasayam, where she was sitting by the seashore. Miyad Natla Oso Argus, so she immediately took that that chest of treasures, and she went, uh, sometime later, Nisrapi Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva was healed, and he came to that particular woman, and he actually had the money to pay back, to pay back his debt. Amrlo, she said to him, Chazarti Yitzel Ha'arev, don't worry about it, I went to the guarantor, Vuhupara Kalachov, he paid off the entire debt, V'halach mashenasan liyoser, and keep for yourself what you gave to me, and more. Umeoso mamun shechziro lo nesasha Rabbi Akiva, and from that money which she returned to him, Rabbi Akiva became wealthy, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video, and Daphnun Amud Beis.